Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I have some uh, books that I want to show you regarding Daesh and terrorism and I've stacked them up here. I'm going to show them to you and just kind of describe them and make a little short video inshallah. Okay, this is a nice book to have um, by uh, Muhammad Shirazi. It shows all the, the the rules of warfare, what's allowed, what's not allowed. It's basically a handbook um, with the rules of war. You know, what, what can be done, what, what you can't do, and a lot of stuff that Daesh is doing, killing civilians, burning people, um, unarmed people, and doing the stuff that they do. It's a very good book. I highly recommend it, and you could probably get it very cheap on Amazon. So check that one out this one's great too this is by the Ahmadiyya community and I highly recommend this one also I was actually passing these out in London and um, it, there was some a couple of guys that were bothering us and I just gave them this and said this will answer all their questions and it, they took it I guess they read it because they never came back it must have answered their questions about you know thinking we're all terrorists and what we believe and what we don't believe um, let's see. Dying to Kill, it's a good book, it's about uh, terrorist groups, like in general, you know, why they do it, and what's their drive to do it, um, it's, a, it's, it's not like Islamic perspective, but it shows, it does show kind of motivation behind a lot of it, and a lot of it actually, it says the motivation of, to, of it is just to, um, kind of put their name out there they, they, they'll they they're kind of compete different groups are competing you know and so they'll, they'll want to do something and get they get like on the news by that they get they get their their group gets more well known for that and they kind of do this stuff for points as she says I mean it's interesting but I do believe some of it is, is, is quite it's true and this is old so you could probably get this for, for pretty cheap also used um, this book is excellent, Islam and Jihad by Nurani. Uh, it's one of the books I read on Jihad. Probably actually the first book I read on Jihad uh, when I had become Muslim. And uh, it, it showed me that what was happening in Iraq wasn't Jihad, it was terrorism. I highly recommend this. And this guy quotes from another book called A Critical Exposition of the Popular Jihad by Chirag Ali. So this book mostly quotes from that one. So a critical exposition of the popular jihad is is a little bit harder reading than this, but they're they're both great and this is a very it's an easy read and it's very very good. Okay. And this this is a you know simple book a small book that basically it it simply shows from an Islamic perspective uh, what Daesh is doing is wrong. There's many books like that. Here's another one. This one also, same thing with Hadith and Quran, and it shows what they're doing is un-Islamic and so forth. And this one I really love. It's almost like a pamphlet. I got it for, for th three three pound at Dar al Taqwa. Um, it's 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 short and very good. It's a um, fatwa. It's a fatwa by um, Sheikh Muhammad Afifi Al Akiti. Check this out grab this if you can because it's probably a kind of rare thing where you're probably not going to find it too much but if you do see it get it there are two here by Sheikh al-Islam Tahir al-Qadri this is you know this is like basically reading that you should, we should stuff that you should basically already know um, where Islam stands on human rights and peace and, and terrorism and stuff like that this one is an introduction uh, to Sheikh Tahir al-Qadri's 500-page fatwa uh, against terrorism, where he actually uh, doesn't just say it's a sin, but you're out of the fold of Islam. And he's, like, I guess, the, one of the first shaykh to say this, that it's not only a sin, but you're out of the fold of Islam. So I'm trying to get through this kind of quick. Facebook fatwa is excellent. This shows uh, on the Internet how they're recruiting on the Internet 
um, Wahhabi Salafi ideology and who the clerics are. You know, it's got their names and, and things like this. It's very good. It's very short. And it's an easy read. And this is probably going to be the best when it comes to Daesh. Um, Sheikh Muhammad Ali Yaqubi's Refuting ISIS, the second edition. Get that one because it's about two times the size of the first one. And this one, he just point blank with Hadith and Quran just breaks them down to what everything that they do and how they're the modern day Khawarij and they should be fought uh, and that's told uh, through uh, Hadith that the Prophet Muhammad said that they should be fought um, I highly recommend this 15,000 have already gone to Syria and different fighters from different groups are already reading it so you, you kinda gotta get your hands on this and Saving for the last is uh, the great theft by my Sheikh Khaled Abul Fadl. This is it must be read um, by all Muslims and non Muslims. The first half is kind of like the Salafi Wahhabi ideology. That's the first half of the book, where it came from, where it grew out of, and, and so forth. And the second part of the book is like um, their ideology versus um, mainstream um, Muslim ideology on things like women. Um, warfare, non-Muslims, and so forth. And you can get this for about one pence, one p, or about uh, or one cent, or something on, on Amazon. Anything about Khalid Abul Fadl, you can't go wrong with Khalid Abul Fadl. I highly recommend this. And watch his videos on YouTube also. He's very, very good. So check those books out if you have time. And uh, inshallah, we get some benefit from it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.